Hold on, time out, time out. There's more after I post. Well, I didn't post a video, but I was about to post it. I seen this. I'm going to blurt out. I'm going to edit the cuss words because YouTube don't allow cussing like this. So I guess this was him driving around the other day on campus and he went all the way in. Nuts. Man, get out of here, man. Doing shit. Been mutton and showing shit. I chose not to, but now I'm out here walking with the football team, picking up trash. But I'm mutton us, man. Get out of here, man. I should leave. I'm not even under contract doing this. I'm mutton us, man. Get out of here, man. They mutt me. These motherfuckers ain't even clean my goddamn office when I got here. I'm mutton y'all. Get your ass, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. All this shit here was trash in front of me. Who you think got this shit cleared out? That building right there got trash in it. It's fucking trash. What are you talking about? I need no goddamn donors to come out and help out because people just want money. That's why I don't hell, that's why I don't fuck with social network. Fuck out of here, man. Oh Lord, man, oh man. Actually, I'm just going to redo the video. Let's just redo the video. So this is... <laughs> let's just redo the video. All right, man. So let, let's let's go. So we just going to redo this video live. Now, if we go to Air Read, you had that video and you had another video where he basically said Coach Prime was right. Let's just go to that video. I'm not even going to show you a, a long clip of it. When he said this, not wrong. Prime was not wrong about what he was saying. All y'all out there with y'all opinions, full of crap, don't know shit. But needless to say, I just pulled up to work. We're gonna try to help y'all too, man, because I know a lot of HBCs need help. I'm just here to help here first. So most of us seen that video. What he just did was issued an apology. Let's read the apology. He did it on the 16th, was that yesterday? In regards to my social media, in regards to my social media and comments about the university, staff and other institutions i would like to sincerely apologize to all bcu staff students and alumni for my lack of professionalism my language and tone were unacceptable as a father coach and leader my passion for our culture betterment and bringing our foundation up get the best of me as i feel victim while engaging with antagonists on social media as well I am fully aware of the hard working folks at our school who are fighting to make sure things better and more financially sound. I am encouraged from my communication with AD, with my AD and our administration and understand it's a work in progress. My passion is about getting and doing better. And that goes for me too. Like I said before, Ed Reed was 100% right. He didn't say nothing wrong. He just was not the person that needed to say it. You're trying to get a damn job, dog. You the one want a job as a head coach. You can't ask for a job for a head coach and trash the university. I'm equal opportunist because I posted and celebrated him when he got the job. And, you know, I, I'm, I agree with him when he said to Coach Prime stuff. But I'm not a head coach. I'm not in a position. It looks terrible. Of you shitting on a university. Yes, you're right. Yes, you shall 100% go to that job and your office should be decked out how Coach Prime office is in Colorado. Not as, oh man, we gotta still move boxes. That's nigga stuff. It's terrible. So yeah, you just wasn't the one, you couldn't say nothing, dog. You wasn't in position. So now you're apologizing. And my thing is, I need that same energy, apology. How you, hey, you go on social media, you talking, 
do all of that. You got to go on. Don't give me no written statement, dog. Don't give me no written statement. You got to have that same energy and go live and tell everybody you apologize and you're sorry and why you're sorry. It's looking bad. You haven't even coached one day. And it's already drama. I don't know how this is going to go. I'm, I'm rooting for him. I'm rooting for him. But I think it's going to be hard. That's why it's impossible. It's damn near impossible for others to do what Coach Prime just did. Let, 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 let's break it down. People criticize Coach Prime. He is one of the greatest double playing sports athletes in, in history. He is the greatest cornerback in NFL history. He's a Hall of Famer. You take somebody from this level, mansions, best cars, best quality of life, and go to Jackson State, Mississippi, which 99% of us never heard of until you went. People criticize him now. Crazy. You just take Ed Reed. Ed Reed, possibly one of the greatest to ever play this position. Not on prime level, but he's one of the greatest. He been there for a week and he can't handle it. One week because he is used to a certain quality of living and standard. Coach Brown didn't even have water. water, Running water for his team and he still figured it out. Ah, man. What's y'all thoughts, dog? What's y'all thoughts?